the low birth rate of Korea in order for Kyungi University to survive and be more competitive, uh, competitive, competitive. <laughs> <laughs> we felt uh, we should open up our uh, university to more foreign students. Indeed, the school administration has been working on to collaborate and foreign universities, but we, as students of Gyeonggi, thought it our time we seek change by ourselves. I believe this concert uh, would become stepping stone for close relationship and active interaction between UCSI and Gyeonggi. I hope you all enjoy our concert. Thank you. Now, everyone stand up from your seat for Malaysian and Korean atoms. Stand up, please.
Today, Bato Ahmad, the Deputy Vice Chancellor of UCSI University and Deputy Vice President of UCSI Student Council, has prepared a welcoming speech for County University students. Please welcome Bato Ahmad, the Deputy Vice Chancellor of UCSI University, off the stage. I, <laughs> it's nice to be here and uh, watching K pop in UCSI campus. I don't think I can do that, but I think most of you guys here can do that. This is the latest trend in, trend in dancing and music. So, on behalf of the university, UCSI, I welcome Kong Hee University from Korea. I was only given like 30 seconds to speak. Thank you for coming. This is UCSI, one of the best universities in Malaysia. Thank you. Now, please welcome the Vice President of UCSI Student Council. A very good evening to that of the founder and CEO, UCSI Council, University Council Chairman, Mr. Han, leader and faculty staff of Kyung Hee University, Kon Woo Kim, Harim Lee, Bon Shin Kang, director and leaders of coordinating. Your Excellence, dear guests, dear audience, hello there, I am Lee Bin, Deputy President of UCSI University Student Council 2017. On behalf of UCSI University Student Council, I would like to thank everyone in this hall for allocating time in their busy schedule to attend this concert tonight. And of course, students from Kyung Hee University for having their culture concert here with us. Before I begin my speech, a warm welcome to all of you. Mama Gandhi once said, be the change that you wish to see in the world. It is always easy to sit up and take notice. But what's difficult is standing up and taking action. To encourage students to excel in extracurricular activities and academically, Student Council constantly organize beneficial events like sports carnival, culture night, and etc. along with all other active clubs. Together, we create a platform for students to showcase their talents and discover oneself. Students who excel in extracurricular will be awarded during the Extracurricular Awards Night, which will be organized annually. All this platform we created is to allow students to go fully flesh. Also, I have a good news to share. In the coming September, there will be nomination and election for Student Council Year of 2018. Dear friends, it is now your turn to shine, showcase your talents, make a change for yourself and the university. I believe all of you here are special in your own ways. Start to aim high, think big, be optimistic and dream the impossible. Whether to have an enjoyable university life or an ordinary university life, the choice is yours and it is based entirely on your decision. Remember, you can make a difference. But here and now, it is all about this evening's concert with lots of K-pop music performed by Kyung Hee University students, whom I would like to thank for their contribution in making this event a remarkable one. Their sweat, their hard work, all the practicing and rehearsals are just to ensure that all present will have a good time tonight and also experience awesome performances that showcase Korean uniqueness. In future, I hope that we will have more chances in collaborating with Kyung Hee as well as other international universities as we look forward to achieve higher goals. Last but not least, I sincerely hope that you will enjoy the concert tonight and dear students, please don't forget to bring your cheers to them. Thank you. Thank you for such a welcoming speech and give a big applause again to Yip Lin. Before we move on to the main events of the concert, we'll watch the video about Kyung Hee. Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. While we were staying here for 10 days, all of the Kyung Hee University students took classes with teacher Evelyn and Justin uh, in English. 
of us staying here, teacher, both teachers have visited, visited us for graduation ceremony. So I would like to invite them warmly up to the stage for the graduation ceremony. Justin and Evelyn, please come up to the stage. Awesome students. Yeah, it's been really great. Yeah, so um, for them, I guess it was a. I, I hope I gave them a very good Malaysian experience. Yeah, during class. So they were fun and there was discipline as well. So yeah, thanks guys. Um, I'm glad to know all of you get to learn about your culture as well as you learning from us in Asian culture. And you guys are awesome. Get out the good work. And now we will invite both uh, organizing directors of this concert, Harim Lee and Pam Shin Khan, up to the stage to get the certificate. Please give them warm applause. Okay. Thank you again. And before we move on to the main events of the concert, we'll watch the video about Gyeonggi University. And after that, all of the students from Gyeonggi We'll go up to the stage to sing the song of Gyeonggi. So, let's give it a look. In 2016, 
Kyungmin University strove to strengthen its core values of scholarship, research, and practice. The five connected cooperation clusters are forging ahead for the betterment of humanity. The BioNet cluster was launched on the Seoul campus, while the global campus is building a state-of-the-art R&D complex to accelerate the launch of the future science cluster. The Academy Industry Cooperation Foundation and the Future Environment Lab are underway. A Korean Herbal Research Center and research facilities will be established in Gumsan, Chinchong Province. International partnership has been intensified through Memorandum of Understanding with Charles University in Prague and École Polytechnique in France. Kyungi has also signed a joint research initiative with the European Space Agency for a new space weather satellite scheduled to be launched in 2018. Kyungi will cooperate actively with the World Academy of Art and Science by jointly fostering a research foundation. Training and Research, and the World Federation of United Nations Associations. In April 2016, the Great March of University Innovation took its first steps. This was part of Kyungi's efforts to address student aspirations as reflected in the Future University Report 2015. The new Future Creation School will promote the broader marketability of Kyungi students and alumni at a time of transition. The university is also striving to optimize its administrative capacity. Humanitas College successfully launched an independent study program an innovative approach to didactics that emphasizes student-led creative approaches to study. The new program has resulted in a significant increase in student satisfaction. The university also has the responsibility to prepare future leaders of the fourth industrial revolution. The College of Engineering, together with the Future Science Cluster, will lead convergence in specialization education. The College of Electronics and Information has established the Department of Software Convergence, and the Intelligent Wireless Power Research Center will spearhead a new phase of innovative cooperation to meet the challenges facing humanity. The quality of Kyungi's academic output has led to a steady upward trend in global university rankings. Kyungi ranks within the top five universities in Korea. Kyungi's involvement in publicly funded national projects is steadily increasing. <coughs> Again in 2016, Kyungi's breakthrough research received attention both at home and abroad. Humanity.
Atlantis Cancer Hospital began in September 2016. The focus is on improving patient quality of life in a program devoted to life beyond cancer and soundness in balance and harmony. The hospital will embrace an innovative holistic approach to patient treatment that incorporates medical science, humanities, fine arts, and physical education. Last June marked the 10th anniversary of the Kyoto University Hospital at Gangnam. Under the slogan, 10 years of growth, now we are soaring, the hospital is preparing another giant leap forward. Shift of Civilization and the Future of Asia, a special lecture series co-hosted by Kyoto University and the Academia Platonica Foundation received an enthusiastic response from students and the general public. The lecturers included Yubal Havari in April, Slavov Zizek in July, Erwin Laszlo in September, and many others. Phase 21 will be completed in early 2017. On the Seoul campus, new buildings for the Colleges of Korean Medicine, Science, and Nursing Science, as well as the Happy Dormitory, will be finished by the end of June 2017. On the Global Campus, the main sports complex will be completed in April, with the R&D Complex and the Academy Industry Cooperation Complex to follow. The United Nations Peace Park is being planned near Shingal Lake. In 2016, Kyoto focused on expanding academy industry cooperation, global partnerships, and excellence in research and education in a drive to become a world-class institution leading the world to a sustainable future. These developments are the fruit of 10 years' work by all of Kyoto's members. We worked together to buttress the core values of the university, institutional credibility, and global responsibility. In 1954, immediately after the Korean War, Kyoto became a full-fledged four-year university. Miwon Yong Chik Cho, the founder of the university, took office as the first president in a dilapidated temporary building. He spoke of his vision, saying, Our goal is not to become first in Korea or in Asia. We want to be first in the world, a leader of the world. To accomplish that, we need to work a hundred, a thousand times harder than those who have had a long head start. Today, Kyoto has become one of Korea's top universities with more than 2,400 faculty members and 32,000 students working and studying together. Now we must prepare for another giant leap forward. By 2019, the 70th anniversary of the university's founding, Kyoto aims to become a university of the future that will lead humanity to civilizational transition. In a time of confusion, everybody is afflicted with some sense of loss. In such a time, Kyoto will stand up to this challenge by leading a civilizational transition as the university of the future. 
Chelsea's long tradition of scholarship and peace will provide the wings for this transformation. Humanity is not determined by the future. Humanity creates its own future. Kyoto University accepts the challenge to fulfill her responsibilities with pride.